Hello and welcome to Airsoft School. Today's Airsoft math lesson covers the proper use of angles during play. Before getting into the math, we must cover terminology fundamental to Airsoft, terms often used incorrectly or believed to be interchangeable. Concealment, like a bush or a shrub, is suitable for concealing you, but concealment will not protect you from getting hit by a BB. Cover on the other hand, cover will protect you as cover is impenetrable. You're covered until you're not covered, like when you raise your head up over a wall. When using cover, we must do so correctly, as the proper use of cover allows us to play longer than the opposing players. To use cover correctly, we need to know the math. In geometry class, we learned about angles and pivot points, also known as the vertex. A pivot point, represented here as Q, is where each line, or ray, meets and articulates. Here is our line again. This time, we have opposing players at the end of each ray. Here we have the same player setup, but included cover. By adding cover, we added a pivot point. This pivot point allows each player to move and adjust their angle of attack, so to remain covered while engaging the other player. Think of a seesaw on a playground. A seesaw has a pivot point exactly in the middle, allowing each ray or rider an equal opportunity of movement. In this image, we move the pivot point closer to rider A and by doing so, the advantage of leverage is given to Rider B. Think back on the last seesaw image. Although neither player is on a seesaw, the same philosophy regarding distance from the pivot point holds true. In this illustration, player A is closer to the pivot point, giving player B the advantage. Because player A is so close to the pivot point, player A must expose more of their body to engage player B, hence the advantage to player B. For player A to recover some cover, the player only needs to step back from the pivot point. Remember, don't crowd cover. As players, we want to set ourselves at an angle where we can see or hit the opposing player, but the opposing player cannot see or hit us. A good rule of thumb is that if you can touch the cover, you're too close to the cover or the pivot point. As with the seesaw, the further we are from the pivot point, the more leverage or protection we have from the opposing player. Set yourself up to where you can see the opposing player and so your BB just clears the pivot point. Your angle of play is always 180 degrees of the opposing player in relation to your pivot point. Here is another look at two opposing players. In this situation, the advantage goes to the player who sets the proper angle first, allowing their eyes and their BBs to pass the pivot point first. In this scenario, there are multiple opponents. I labeled each opposing player 1 through 3, and they are labeled in the order in which I will engage each player. This style of attack is called slicing the pie, and in a defensive role, we always slice the pie outside in. IDPA shooters, defensive shooters know this fact. First, I set my angle on player 1, then I reset my angle on player 2, and then I reset again and engage player 3. Thank you for attending class today. I hope you learned something about the importance of angles in Airsoft and you leverage this knowledge during play. If you enjoyed this session, please share it with your friends. Remember, call your hits and don't be a jerk. I'll see you out on the field.